Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're doing another pick a card reading and we're using tarot cards. We have four decks before us today and we're asking the question, how do I know if it's true love? What are the signs that show me that it's true love? What are the indicators of true love? So when you meet somebody or you're in a relationship with someone and you're wondering um, to yourself, well, is this true love or you have any doubts about it, then um, this reading would be able to help you to identify one or two criteria that will assist you in understanding whether your relationship is based on true love or not. So go ahead and you may choose the option either one, two, three or four. And you can go down to the timestamp below, uh, which will take you directly to your reading. So I wish you all a good reading and I will begin. So for those of you who have chosen the first option here, we are asking what are the indicators of true love? So we have here the five of pentacles in reverse, we have the moon reversed and we have the king of swords also in reverse. So I think that here you will know that it's true love when this person doesn't need to try too hard to be with you. This person is not particularly dreamy or um, or very romantic in nature, although they could do some things that are romantic at times. Um, but they're not particularly a, a, a romantic type of person. I feel that here, this person doesn't necessarily go out of their way to do something fantastic for you or to, to thrill you or to surprise you. But rather, this person is quite down to earth. They, they have their feet on the ground. They're quite simple, uncomplicated people here. And this is the person that you, you would find yourself with. Um, they're not somebody who's going to make things too complicated. They're very straightforward. They know what they believe in. They have good values and they are not um, driven by uh, superficial things. They're not interested in of anything that's superficial, whether it's a kind of uh, celebrity worship. They don't place a huge emphasis on material things. They seem at times to be quite detached. And um, if this person, if you are in a situation with somebody where the person seems to be detached, but they're not emotionally unavailable. They simply seem to be detached. Um, and this person is actually um, has their feet on the ground. They um, are very clear about what they like and what they don't like. And they're also not very dreamy or not really interested in esoteric things necessarily. Or rather, they have a sober mind when it comes to esoteric things. They are not judgmental necessarily, but they are. They, they do proceed with caution. So for you, you will know that it's true love when you've encountered somebody where you feel that your feet are also on the ground, that you feel quite grounded with this person, that you are not um, looking for any kind of thrills, that there aren't any games being played in the situation where you, this person is simply themselves and you can simply be yourself as well. And there isn't any kind of feeling of being, of somebody being distant, um, even if the person is sometimes detached and you feel like you need to be detached as well even though you need your space at times and you move away there isn't this feeling that um that the person's gone or that you've left or that they've left and this is a situation where um it feels to me like that would be an indicator for your love uh for true love for you the other indicator here is that there isn't anything um, there isn't a need to lie. There isn't any reason to pretend to be something that you're not. You won't feel like you need to really just, you know, show off the best that you can be because you feel very much like showing this person who you really are. Um, you know, somebody, you, you you want to show them who you really are in any, not just in your good days, but also in your not so good days. And I feel like this, these two things are really the, the indicators for you that you really feel at home with him. You don't feel like you need to put on anything. You don't need to show yourself off in a particular way. You can simply be yourself and this person is, um, is going to be interested in you just like 
that and just because you are who you are. So just to summarize that, the, the indicators in as shown by these cards are that you would like to be as, as open about yourself as possible and as grounded and as real as possible with this person. You really want to be authentic with this person. And then this person is not particularly dreamy. They have their feet on the ground. They are not interested in cheap thrills. They're not interested in investing in superficial culture. And they are somebody who feels that it's okay to um, to walk away for a bit or to be you know separate or to be at a distance and they are secure enough to be able to do that without feeling like there's any abandonment when you're with them you don't get the feeling that they're abandoning you and you they don't you don't give them the feeling if you needed to take some space that you are abandoning them so I hope that has been helpful and I hope that um yeah, I hope that it resonates. Do let me know uh, when it happens if um, found your true love and uh, this this reading actually helped your you to identify it. So wishing you all very well as you go along and I'm moving on to the next option. So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we're asking, what are the true indicators of love? How will I know that it is true love? Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the second option here, what I see is that uh, you will know that it's true love when this person wants to build something with you. They're really over whatever they've had in the past, whether it's been hurt from uh, family death, or whether it's been an old relationship, they are beyond it. They've healed themselves. They have had trauma in their lives, but they have healed themselves. They're no longer in the past. They're no longer processing that trauma. They're no longer having difficulties with their past relationships. They're no longer hung up on their ex. And this person actually wants to build something uh, with you they are somebody who's looking forward to to building those you know those stones like placing one stone on top of the other and you're going to get that very clear feeling that this is true love when this person is doing that because they're willing to invest in you and they are no longer invested in whatever was um was difficult for them in the past i feel like you would know that it's true love because here it seems like there's a sense of giving up um, dating other people or not being interested in other people or and them also feeling that way. It's like they have, you know, they might have been somebody who has many uh, other partners, but now they've chosen to simply focus on, on building this thing with you. So that is the other indicator here. It's as if this person has turned inward and is not outward. So outward be, would be, you know, celebrating oneself with one's friends and perhaps sometimes spreading oneself a little bit then but also just focused outwardly on finding the right partner on on gaining a lot of attention from the outside world and here now this person has is not doing that anymore and it feels to me like you are also not inclined to that you are you've turned inward you've turned you're no longer looking outside of yourself you're looking inward and that would also be an indicator for you so there are three indicators here for you just to make it clear the first indicator is that you're no longer looking outside you're looking inward and you're no longer interested in others in in a romantic way so whereas previously you might have been interested in in more than one person or at least thought that more than one person is attractive now it would be like you know you don't feel that way anymore you don't actually see it in that way it's more like you you're saying oh okay you know um i'm i'm interested in this person only and um that other but nobody else is taking up my time or in my headspace or anymore so that is the one thing the second thing is that this person has long gotten over whatever trauma difficulty heartbreak that they have had in their past and they're willing to look forward and actually just move ahead and the third um sign for you would be that they're willing to actually build something with you and they would talk about it the other thing is that you might also feel here that you want to build something you might also feel like you know you feel like nesting you feel like creating something with somebody else and you feel like actually like you belong in some way 
So those were the, um, the signs for you that you know that this is true love. And I hope that all works out for you. Do let me know if that those signs have helped you to identify your true love. And I'm wishing you all very well and moving on to the next one now. So for those of you who've chosen the third option here, we're asking what are the indicators of true love? What are the signs that I need to look out for that will show me that this is true love? So we have the six of coins, we have the queen of cups and we have the seven of coins. And I want to say that you will know that this is true love for you because it will come in a time in your life when you actually have just uh, had a victory. You've actually just experienced some kind of victory. And it's almost like you've been working really, really hard until now to be able to come to this point where you can actually experience that victory. And you there's a reward for it. There is something that you've worked for and something that you've gained. Um, and there's recognition. There's recognition from people around you that you've actually made these gains and that you've done this work and that you've gotten, you know, you've made, you've made this progress. And during that time, it's almost as if you are swept off your feet. It's almost like you're able to not be so hard with yourself anymore. And there's a sense that you are you are able to honor your vulnerability and honor yourself, honor the feelings that you have, the softness that you have. And this person um, that will come into your life will be able to bring that out in you. So it's almost like everyone around you look at looks at you as a business person or as an academic or whatever profession you're in. They look at you in that light and through professional eyes. And then you have this one person who comes through and they're seeing you. It's almost like they can see right through you and they understand you and they understand your needs and your and they and then you allow yourself to be vulnerable with them and so this is actually the second sign the that one that you will be able to to feel like you've like you can take a break and actually just be yourself with somebody and then the, the second sign is that you've actually made some some headway in your life where you feel quite proud of yourself and there's recognition from others that they that you have rec that you've achieved something that you are someone to be reckoned with and it feels here that that the other the other sign will be like when you meet this person you'll feel like oh my goodness I have such a long way to go. So even though you might have achieved that, you've 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 made some huge progress. It's like when you've met this person, you feel like, you know, you're starting up again and you are at ground zero again. Where that's probably not the best term to use. But um you right back at square one and that you you know you're starting all over again and where is it you know that you're going to go to and it feels like there is a lot of work to be put in and there's a lot to be done still but for you it, it feels to me like it's easier it's not so hard and difficult as it was before it's just a little bit easier and I still see you working and achieving and and creating something that's wonderful and being recognized but this time it feels like you're doing it in partnership with somebody and it's not like you are all alone um, just climbing up this very steep hill, steep hill. I also feel here that one of the un indicators may be that you change your course a little bit because when this person brings out this vulnerability in you and you are able to understand things in a particular light, you're able to find a deeper empathy with those around you, the way in which you may focus your energy and uh, your and the, your drive would be to include others in a way that's more empathetic and more um, bringing people in closer to you. So if you're involved in building up a business, it feels to me like at the point at which you you will know this is true love is when your business is actually really successful and you are recognized for what you do. And then um, then, then you are actually able to feel vulnerable and f feel like you are really yourself. And then after that, it's like you you change your, your direction a bit and, you know, you include others or you start working in a capacity of teaching others or giving back or including children into the, um, the mix, um, you know, training people. And I feel like this is something that... Um, 
it makes you feel like you've got such a long way to go. It makes you feel like you've almost achieved nothing. But in fact, you have come quite a long way. So that is, uh, those are your signs and your, your indicators for true love. Let me know if that resonates with you. Let me know if you were able to point out your true love by uh, using one of these uh, signs, uh, these indicators. And uh, do keep me updated. Okay, sending you all much love and wishing you well on your way. So for those of you who've chosen the fourth option here, we're asking, what are the indicators of true love? How will I know that it's true love? What I see here is that for you, when you meet this person, uh, you would have come out of a place where you've been really broken down and disempowered. You might have even been in, in a depression for a long time, or, but you really felt like the odds were stacked against you and you really didn't know how uh, things were going to move. And this person makes you feel euphoric. This person makes you feel like you've just achieved something and that you've come out of the doll drums and you're at a place where, you know, you at the best uh, space in your life. You know, it's like one of those Hollywood movies where, uh, you know, you it's like, like a rag to riches story. But in terms of your emotions, like, you know, you, you are not doing well at all and you're really broken down and you're depressed. Like it's in your you in your bed, you know, not able to get out of your bed. And then and then when you meet this person it's like you on the stage performing for others and you feel like you've arrived you feel like wow you know life can be this good it's like the stars are all aligned at this moment and like everything is working out really well not just in terms of your well-being and your emotions but also in terms of your life financially and I feel like um, the experiences that you've had before and the, the uh, yeah what you've felt before is actually going to help you to to um, to look at yourself differently and I see you moving into a place in yourself where you are feeling quite intuitive quite wise quite uh, w within yourself you know really like elevated in your in your stance with regard to yourself so you have a, a much better relationship with yourself when you actually um, will meet this person so for you the signs are that you you might have been coming out of a bad place in your life when you meet this person that's the first sign the second is that you want to move into a place where you are quite going inward and where you're working with yourself and you actually are feeling like you want to take the experience that you have had and move it into into some wiser choices in your life and then the third thing is that you feel like you've arrived like there's a breakthrough for you and you feel quite euphoric when you've met them and um, you know one might think that that is a natural feeling to have when you meet somebody who is your true love and um, it isn't always the case that you have um, a feeling of euphoria or that things align itself and the stars align and here it, it really shows me that that's exactly what it is um, it's like this fairy tale story you know from rags to riches or you know the Cinderella story things are not going so well you're really struggling and um, you're really struggling in yourself emotionally internally etc and then boom there comes an opportunity and it's showering you with everything that you need and it's making you feel really really good about yourself and then you feel like you've graduated from all of that and you're in a place where you can go deeper and you can understand yourself and you can you know self-actualize and self-realize and so um so those are the indicators of true love in your life um, that things will work out in this particular way and you know you will meet this person when things start going really well for you and um, not to say that things are not necessarily going well for you right now but it's as if um, it would be like you know you're recovering from something or you've turned a corner or things have moved drastically it's like this drastic shift in your life and then you meet this person so I hope that's been helpful and um, yeah I hope that it makes a difference and I hope that you're able to identify the true love in your life if you are please let me know down in the comments below and I'm wishing you all very well as you go along and uh, please stay safe and stay well and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.